अनिल सर रेडी करेंगे हाँ यस सर अपने मुसद्दिक सर जो भी ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं उनको ज्वाइन कराते नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम और प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर मजार अहमद फारूकी सर एंड प्रिंसिपल गोपाल काकड़े सर फॉर द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री फॉर बोथ द कॉलेजेस under mou between maulana azad college of arts science and commerce aurangabad as well as msp mandals arts commerce and science college kille dharu so i welcome all the students and teaching staff for attending this lecture series on online proof, uh, online platform today is the first lecture of this series and it will be delivered by dr sheikh anis ahmad who is associate professor department of chemistry maulana azad college aurangabad he has a teaching experience of 13 years in the senior college he has already qualified net examination conducted by csir and phd he got from dr baba saab ambedkar marathwada university he is going to deliver the talk on atomic structure so i welcome today's speaker dr anis ahmed sheikh and request him to deliver his lecture अनिल सर थोड़ी आवाज कम है Am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. Share your PPTs if you need. Okay. And start your video also. So very good. Good evening to all the participants. Expected, expected. Guest of guest of this uh, lecture, sir. Sir, Mr. 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 Mr.
This is lecture, Dr. Arpadana, HOD Department of Chemical Hormones and Pharmacology, Aurangabad. And all the participants. Today I am going to deliver the lecture on the economics chair. So we are very much familiar about the structure of atom. All are from the chemistry background. So in this lecture, I will talk about some of the well-known theories given by different scientists on the atomic side. So I am going to uh, start my lecture on this topic, atomic structure. So in the First, we will see the history of the atom. In the year 460 BC, Hippocrates was the very first scientist. Mm -hmm. the According to Hippocrates, he founded a. Arif, sir, my skin is visible or not? Hello. The screen visible nahi hai. Okay, just wait, sir. Wait. Now, is it visible? Ha, play ki je play. Yeah, we are going to start the atomic structure. Very yes, first, yes. I have given the concept of structure of the atom was Hippocrates. In the year 460 BC, he developed the idea of the atom. According to him, when he was sitting in his classroom, and after coming, after completion of the class, he was sitting in the classroom, and he was breaking the chalk piece. And, and after, after breaking, breaking number of times, he comes to the office and that. On this stage, we will come when there is another possibility of division. So he comes up to the office and that. A material can be cut into hundreds and thousands of the divisions, but on this stage, we will come when there is no possibility of the further division. He concludes the head stage as a material. He founded the material in his pestle and mortar. At, at finite, finite time, time and reduced this atom is smaller and smaller particle. And he called that particle or that stage as an atom. So, so atom is a Greek word, which means it is a combination of two words. One, one is the absent, absent that is atom, another, another is a for absent atom is a divisibility or division. So, when, when that, that stage is come. He concluded that after, after the number of divisions, one stage will become there is no at that stage there is no possibility of further division. That, that division or that stage term as atom. Atom is a Greek word, which means the substance or the stage in which there is no further possibility of division. So atom Means indivisible stage on an indivisible particle. Okay. okay. So in this stage. For example, here, according to the as only the concept of the atom at the very earliest stages, and he has given only rough idea of the atom. Now, now after, after that, that, in the year 1808, John Dedalus proposed. Just wait, wait. 
John John Lennon Lennon the year 1808 was that some, some small particles particle come, come close to each other and they give a very elastic particle, particle. and that particle or that uh, surface is known as atom. This suggested that all the metals were made up of any shares that they are able to bounce around with a perfect elasticity and he called that state as an atom. Now, now even, even though the John Lennon does not give us any special or any detailed study of the atom, like it is having some smaller particle like proton, neutron, and proton. After, After that, that, in the year 1898, Sir, Sir Joseph Sir. John Thompson, we are commonly known no, as Sir Joseph Thompson, come to the conclusion that. Atom would sometimes detect a smaller negative particle, which he called as an electron. In the discharge, you expect to perform this practical and come to conclusion that some of the particles are coming out from the uh, sample material and they are traveling towards the positive way. And it comes to the conclusion that the particles which are coming out from the sample material which are migrating towards the Positive rate are nothing but the negatively charged particle, and he called this particle as an electron. Now, now after, after that, that, in the year 1904, Sir J. 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 Thompson developed the idea that an atom was made up of electron which has scattered within a dusk sphere surrounded by a sheet soup of positively charged. Uh, material. material and he, he termed his material as electron C in that the positive charge particles are scattered just like, like the plan putting model. So you can see the C in the picture. Sir, is it visible? The screen is visible or no, sir? Sir, sir. sir, sir uh, slide change in your slide show more. And this is a slide show mode. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, sir, पहले पीपीटी डिस्प्ले कर लो और वो वहां पे जो अपने विंडो वाले की को प्रेस करो Out, out. Sir, पहले है ना PPT को share करके play करो. आई क्या समझते हैं सर? नहीं सर अभी हाँ नहीं नहीं शेयर करो शेयर करो फिर से मुसब्बिर लाइक करो जल्दी
It was given by Democritus in the year 460 BC. So Democritus, when he completed his class, he came to the laboratory, and after that, he founded a pestle and mortar. And we come to the conclusion that one stage will come when there is no further possibility of breaking or division of the material. He pronounced this material as an indivisible particle and he termed this material as atoma. According to Greek word, atoma is a combination of two words. One is absent, that is A. Another is stoma. Toma is the divisibility or indivisible particle. So when there is absence of the divisibility, that stage or that particle is known as atoma. After that, next scientist John Dalton has proposed the concept of the atom, suggested that all matter was made up of tiny spheres that they are able to bounce around with perfect elasticity, and we call this material as atom. John Dalton was not given the clear concept of the particles inside the atom, like proton, neutron, electron, positron, but he has given only rough idea that the material which are composed of tiny spheres and which are able to bounce around with plus plus perfect elasticity, he called this material as atom. Now, after that, in the year 1898, Joseph John Thompson proposed the concept of material atom in the detailed study. And in the year 1898, he discovered the electron by performing the gas discharge experiment. This is the for the detailed study of the Joseph Thompson experiment, we found that he put the one material inside the gas discharge tube and found that some of the charged particles are coming out from that material which are deflecting towards the positive plane. And he found that the, the particles which are Deflecting towards the positive plate are nothing but the negatively charged particle. And he coined the very first term electron that these negatively charged particles are nothing but the electron which are having negative charges. After that, in the year 1904, Thompson had developed the model which clearly explained that the atom is consist of negatively charged electrons which are scattered just like the plum pudding model and just like watermelon model. He termed that the electrons are the negatively charged particle which are scattered in the positively charged C or positively charged material which is 
is spread just like the plum pudding now all this that is democritus jj thomson and john dalton who has not clearly explained the concept of atom very clearly these are having some drawbacks so in the year 1910 ernest rutherford proposed the concept of atom who has continued his study on the over for jigger and batson carry out his famous experiment they fired the helium nuclei at a piece of gold foil and come to conclusion that some of the particles are coming out from these gold foils so he has performed near about 10000 hit and he found that in 10000 hit one of the particles is coming out from that material is the history of atom he put the gold material sorry gold foil in gold foil he has kept some material and come to conclusion that some of the particles are coming out from this material that is silver gold foil the helium nuclei are passed through this foil and a small number of, of the particles were deflected and to their surprise some helium nuclei bounced straight back so these are the just history of atom that rutherford proposed the new advance allowed him to propose a more detailed model with the central nucleus so rutherford was very first scientist who proposed the concept of nucleus so rutherford has given that the atom is not consist of the small particle but it is having the some material which is known as central part that is nucleus in that nucleus the whole mass of the atom is concentrated that nucleus is consist of the positively charged particle he term this particle as a proton he suggested that positively charged particle present inside the nucleus and around that nucleus electrons are revolving and the balancing of electron takes place by attraction in between proton and the negatively charged electron so however this was not the end of the story that is democritus john dalton then jj thomson and rutherford rutherford has also some drawbacks like uh, he was concluded that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus but one stage will come when the electron will fall inside the nucleus if the electron falls inside the nucleus then there is no possibility of existence of the atom so this was a very uh, strong drawback of the rutherford so in order to overcome from this drawback new scientist niels bohr in the year 1913 proposed that the atom is consist of the positively charged nucleus which consist of proton around the uh, nucleus electrons are revolving in a fixed energy orbit he pronounced that these energy orbits or these energy levels as a orbit in that orbit the particular electron is revolving in the specific velocity so he come to conclusion that the electron never fall inside the nucleus if electron falls inside the nucleus the atom cannot exist now neil bohr's concept of atom was most mostly accepted concept in the history of the models of the atom so he come to conclusion that the neil bohr's concept was also just like the planet model like the planets are revolving around the earth sun earth and which are revolving sorry sun uh, the earth moon and other planets are revolving around the sun the same concept neil bohr has applied that nucleus is considered as a sun around the nucleus the electrons which are revolving are acting as a planets so neil bohr has given the concept of planet model of the atom so these are the some and examples of the bohr atom in which is the central part central part that is the nucleus around the nucleus electrons are revolving just like planets which are revolving around the sun so it is the example of the atom that is helium atom the helium is consists of central part that is nucleus around the nucleus electrons are revolving in a fixed orbit so central part consists of proton and neutron and electrons are revolving around the nucleus so this orange color particle acts as 
electron and the white color is neutron and the here a positively charged particle that is sky blue color is proton so here this part that is neutron and proton are present inside the nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus so these electrons which are revolving around this proton in that is nucleus this path of the moving electron is known as shell or orbit according to neil bohr now inside the particle which atoms are there inside the atom which particles are there so there are three types of particle first is proton neutron and electron proton is present inside the nucleus neutron is also present inside the nucleus and electrons are present around the nucleus which are have negatively charged part so proton is positively charged mass of the proton is near about 1 neutron is not having any charge but the mass is found to be 1 electron is negatively charged which is having very negligible mass now it is the general representation of the atom the atom is always represented by symbol like h h e l i like this on the top of the atom the atomic mass is written and on the bottom atomic number is written but here it is having reverse manner it is having reverse order so atomic number is also represented by z and mass number is represented by a so number of electron always equal to number of proton before going to that i will show you the hypothetical or imaginary structure of atom so i will i would like to if everybody is having mobile phone so they should go to the website structure of atom in 3d so you will find that now go on give me the this way i am sharing the screen how the structure of atom can be seen visible signal garden is the website which clearly shows the structure of atom in three dimension so it will be very much visible in the mobile phone just go this website and look how the model the structure of atom can be seen so go to the i am requesting you to go to the website 3d model of atom in signal garden website
right. Did you download Grammarly? Come on, man. Everyone's using it. If you want to ace this paper. These are the combination of the proton and neutron. These are the shapes around the nucleus. Yes, it clearly explained that the central part consists of the proton and neutron and electrons are revolving around this nucleus in a fixed orbit. Now, here the orbits are not having the one dimension or two dimension. It is having three dimensions. Means here it can move around the x-axis, y-axis as well as z-axis. So next we will go for So here atomic structure we will roughly see electrons are arranged in energy levels which we are calling it as the orbits. The central parts of the nucleus is consist of proton and neutron. The energy level which are very near to the nucleus are first energy level. It is having maximum two electrons. The second shell or second energy level is consist of maximum eight electrons and third shell is consist of again eight electrons. So here this is the rough structure of the or structure of, this is the rough atomic model of the atom now here we will easily explain electronic configuration of the atom so electronic configuration is nothing but the distribution of electron in an atom is known as electronic configuration so there are two types of methods of the representing electron one by dot method another is by cross method so by taking example of nitrogen, we will easily exp explain how the electrons are represented. So nitrogen atomic number is seven. First shell is consist of two electron and second is having five electron. So total seven electron can occupy the nitrogen in which maximum electron in first shell is two and second is having capacity eight electron. So here valence shell of nitrogen is consist of seven electron. So here, these are the some atoms which represent the electronic configuration. So calcium atomic number is 20, atomic mass is 40, sodium 11, 23, oxygen 8, 16. In this way, chlorine 17, 35, silicon 14, 28, and boron 5, 11. So it is the general representation of the electrons in atom. First shell of calcium is consist of two electrons, second eight, third eight, and last is two electrons. Similarly, sodium is having first shell two electrons, second eight, last is one. Oxygen is having two comma six electron. In the same way, chlorine is having two comma eight comma seven, silicon two comma eight comma four, and boron is five two comma three. So it is the general representation or the diagrammatic representation of the nitrogen. Here, nitrogen having two shell. First shell is having two electrons. Second is having total five electrons. 
So here total capacity of two first cell is two electron and second is having five electrons. So total atomic number of nitrogen is seven. Means it is having seven electrons. It is the representation of oxygen. First cell is having two electrons. Second is having six electrons. Similarly, chlorine is having three shells. First shell consists of two electrons. Second is having eight electrons, and third shell is consists of seven electrons. So here the summary of our today's lecture is: atomic number of atom always equal to number of proton. That is, atomic number is nothing but number of proton. That atomic number always equal to number of electron. Central part of the nucleus is known as central part of the atom is known as nucleus, which consists of proton and neutron. Around the neutron, electrons are revolving in a fixed energy state or stationary energy level, which is which are known as shells. So each shell is consists of a fixed number of electron. That is, first shell is having two electron, second is having eight electron, eight electron, eighteen electron in this. So you are. these are general website which are very much helpful for understanding the structure of it so anybody is having any question you can ask anybody anybody have question hello sir hello ah yes sir ah yes sir sir myself dr ramen gaikwad from art commerce and science college killi daro yes sir sir i won't have any question but i just want to take some uh, ideas about how you have shown this sir uh, model of hydrogen atom yes sir yes sir yes sir how you have shown the model of hydrogen atom that is the electron is uh, revolving around the nucleus how you have shown yes sir yes sir i will show you in hydrogen is having only one atomic number it is it will have only one shell around the nucleus it consists of one proton one neutron and one electron is revolving around the nucleus no no sir my question is you have shown one model which model sir uh, that model was online Uh, okay, okay google search you have shown is it now sir you you go to the website which i will tell you okay okay signal garden 3d structure of atom and okay, okay. you just rotate your mobile and keep in vertical direction okay? okay okay that website will ask you that just shake the mobile in two di two direction right side and left side And okay clearly you will easily visualize the structure of atom okay 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 that will thank be very you, helpful and very interesting sir well, thank you thank you sir yes. you have given very nice lecture sir so you try sir you sir, try in khatam ho gaya okay okay sir thank you sir thank you ye chup baithe lagata na thank you sir please anybody okay anish sir yes thank you very much thank you dr anish sir uh, such a informative lecture i request to dr abdul ahad sir to propose vote of thanks <coughs> thank you musaddis sir on behalf of all the organizing team of lecture series of mou between maulana azad college and msp mandal college bid i would like to give my vote of thanks to dr anis ahmed 
असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मौलाना आजाद कॉलेज औरंगाबाद फॉर गिविंग अ लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर ही हैज एक्सप्लेन वेरियस कंसेप्ट ऑफ एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर वेरियस मॉडल्स सच एज बोर रुदरफोर्ड एटसेट्रा रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड मैनी मोर इन अ वेरी डिस्क्रिप्टिव प्रिसाइज एंड ईजी मैनर विथ न्यूमरस इंटरेस्टिंग डिजिटल एनिमेटेड एग्जाम्पल्स द लेक्चर विल बी रियली बेनिफिशियल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एस सी एंड एम एस सी थैंक्स अनिस सर फॉर गिविंग यूर वैल्यूएबल टाइम थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच अरे ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू आरिफ पठान सर